Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate. Today we're gonna address the question that everybody is asking themselves when the end of the year approaches and we are about to make some New Year's resolutions. Okay, maybe not everybody, but everybody who smokes. Because today I'm gonna tell you how to quit smoking. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. And if you're interested, consider this a good time to like the video, subscribe, and let's continue. Before we start, I need to throw a little disclaimer at you. This video is meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your doctor. Now having said that, let's start off with the most tedious part for any smoker. Why is smoking bad? But don't worry, I will keep it short. In the US, 15% of all adults is smoking, but worldwide this percentage is even higher. It's about 20. And as you all know, smoking is very unhealthy and can lead to several diseases. Among others, lung diseases like COPD, lung cancer, it can obstruct your blood vessels and lead to heart attacks. But that is just the tip of the iceberg, as smoking is a major cause of death worldwide. So I believe congratulations are in place here. You all took the first step in overcoming smoking and quitting by clicking on this video. So congratulations. Here it's also important to mention that the longer and the more you smoke, the greater the health damage you get. And I'm ending off this tedious part by telling you that recent research showed us that heavy smokers can live up to 13 years shorter than non-smokers. And even light smokers, so people who don't smoke daily, can live up to five years shorter. Which is terrible and we don't want that. So consider that your profit and motivation and maybe consider your actual profit as quitting to smoke cigarettes, which are very expensive, will net you quite a sum of money and help you afford the car you have wanted for such a long time. Just an idea. Now you might wonder, I've known for years that smoking is bad and it will kill me probably. It costs me more money than I would ever dare to admit and still I can't seem to quit. How is that possible? Now let me tell you. Cigarettes are developed to keep you addicted. They contain countless of substances all specifically aimed and made to keep you smoking cigarettes. Of which the most famous substance is nicotine. Nicotine can activate and stimulate our central nerve system, or brain, and it leads to our brain releasing dopamine and adrenaline. These substances have several effects. First of all, dopamine stimulates the reward centrum in our brain, which makes the smoker experience pleasure while smoking. Adrenaline, on the other hand, gives the smoker the stimulating effect they experience while smoking. It's these effects our body keeps craving for, and these effects keeps us coming back to cigarettes. Now before you quit smoking cigarettes, it helps to know what you're up against. This will help you fight the craving, because quitting cigarettes will lead to withdrawal symptoms. Irritability, impatience, restlessness, craving for a cigarette, poor concentration, insomnia, a headache, and an increase in appetite and therefore even weight gain. These symptoms usually occur within 2 to 12 hours after smoking your last cigarette and you all have experienced those symptoms before. They will peak within 1 to 3 days and usually last 2 to 4 weeks after which they are gone. However, the psychological craving takes much longer to get rid of because we have cigarettes woven through all our routines. One cigarette when we wake up, one during our morning coffee, one while walking the dog, and so on and so on. You need to develop all new routines, and this takes time, and this is hard. Then how do you quit? First of all, you need a goal, and this is easy. Quit smoking cigarettes and prevent the relapse. The key for success here is your motivation, because quitting is very hard to do, and without being motivated, you won't be able to pull it off. And you will get motivated by having a reason to quit. What is yours? Is it to look better? Is it to improve your health? Or to protect your family from the smoke? Every reason here is a good reason to quit, but you need to know yours. Next, I would advise you to contact your physician or general practitioner 
they can help guide and support you through the process and will help you quit smoking. They will also be able to come up with a plan which fits your needs. But you don't have to do it all on your own. The rule of thumb here is if you're smoking more than 10 cigarettes a day, nicotine substitutes can help you. This is done to reduce your craving for nicotine while also preventing you from smoking actual cigarettes, which is the entire goal here. Now these nicotine substitutes come from different brands in all different kinds of forms. You have mouth spray, chewing gum, plasters and some more. It's important here that you only start using them when you actually already quitted smoking. Otherwise you will consume double doses of nicotine and this is not what we want. Now when using these you can expect an effect within two to four weeks after you start using them. And for any of you interested, I will be making a separate video soon and you can find out a bit more in depth detail there. Now lastly, if you are breastfeeding or pregnant, always contact your doctor before using these nicotine substitutes. You had a few tries, but you can't seem to quit. You tried nicotine replacement therapy, no effect there. You still have too much craving, you still keep smoking. Don't worry, there are more solutions for you. There are several medicines your treating physician can prescribe you. Bupropion, nortriptyline and Chantix. Those are more effective than nicotine replacement therapy, but also have more serious side effects and are a bit more expensive. So those are the downsides. Again, if you're interested in a bit more information, I will be making separate videos on them soon, so check them out. Also, always contact your treating physician before starting any of these medicines. Then some tips. Replacing cigarettes with e-cigarettes is probably not a smart thing to do. They are supposedly healthier, but they're actually not. Very little is known about their long-term safety and they contain any number of ingredients and chemicals and quantities that can be harmful for your health. So be careful there. What would be good advice is Try sporting. Exercise actually reduces your withdrawal symptoms, makes you less likely to relapse into smoking behavior and also prevents you from weight gain, so that's nice. It's also always wise to tell a friend, family member or anyone close to you that you quit smoking. They can help and encourage you and you could also join a support group for that matter. My next tip is avoid alcohol. As we probably all have experienced before, alcohol lowers our boundaries. And when your boundaries are lowered, you're more likely to start smoking again. So you would be wise to avoid alcohol. And lastly, clean your house. Get rid of all ashtrays, all lighters and wash your clothes smelling to smoke. This way you get rid of the scent and any ID and memory of smoking. As I already told you and you probably all know, everybody knows, quitting smoking is very hard. And most people need several tries before giving up cigarettes for good. So if you relapse and you start smoking again, it's no biggie. Don't worry, everybody does that. Just try again. Think about why you wanted to quit in the first place and then try again. And here's also proven to reward yourself. So maybe you could put some of that money you saved by not buying cigarettes towards doing something fun, something for yourself. This was my video on how to quit smoking. I hope I helped you to implement some of the tips I talked about and I hope you will be able to quit smoking. Now share this video with any friend, family member, anyone you know that also wants to quit smoking. Maybe I can help them too. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section and I will try to answer them as best as I possibly can. If you found this video helpful, then please leave a like will help out the channel tremendously and will help me grow as a YouTuber and help more persons, more people, <laughs> more people. Also subscribe for more upcoming videos as the video on nicotine replacement therapy for example. Then as always, I see you next time. Bye bye.